Introducing the all-new Adamant Sword, now utilizing the latest and greatest in adamantite short sword technology. Popularized by T.S. Church's epic novel, RuneScape Betrayal at Falador, this blade of destruction can dish out pain to any rocks or crabs that dare cross your path. Available at Quality Weapon Shop in Northwest Keldegrim, now for only 8 easy payments of 169 That's only 8 easy payments of 169 But don't just take our word for it, just listen to one of our satisfied customers. I mean, I bought it because it was best in slot. If they sold simmies, I would have gotten one of those instead. Dial the number on your screen within the next three minutes and we'll throw in a free kebab. That's a 1GP value. Yours free. Our phone operators are standing by. Stupid dwarf. Got my revenge. Welcome back, by the way. Last video, we started the Fremenic Trials and grinded our combat stats up to the Adamant Sword. This episode, we're going to knock out a few more sections of the quest and hopefully upgrade the gear a bit as well. A Guam Leaf. Wait, that's insane. Besides the massive XP drop. Oh yeah, that's good. If I could make an attack potion, it would really help me out for the multi-stage boss fight in the Trials. Meet my only source of Eyes of Newt. Slaughtering Fremenic Civilians. They drop eyes at a rate of 1 in 128, but they also drop the liar at a rate of 1 in 17, which I'll also need for the quest. Oh. Well, can't play it yet, of course. I still need the raw shark. Actually, now that I think about it, I do need a water source to fill up this vial. You unfortunately can only fill up buckets at wells, so these water sources don't work. Hmm. That's another well... Uh... I think that's a fountain. I don't really want to trek all the way down there, but it is still in bounds. Haha, -ha, I'll fill the vial from a bucket and... Nah, that would make too much sense. Okay, there's a sink right here, never mind. But the, but the, uh, I have bought like a hundred kebabs from this man. I am done supporting local businesses. Oh, thank God we're saved. I should have known. The one thing that can fill my vial is a fill bucket option. My run energy depletes so fast, so I'm going to bite the bullet and train some more agility. Ooh, pinball. And 20. What? Was I supposed to use those on Herblore? Sorry, I decided to use them on mental sanity. Now that I have reached enlightenment, we need to talk about the raw shark. The raw shark is essential for completing the trials, and there are still two possible ways for me to obtain one, but that will be the focus of next video. So, option one is Barbarian Assault High Gambles. If I decide to go this route, I'm gonna have to do potentially dozens of full runs, including killing the Penance Queen, with 36 HP. Assuming it takes me around 45 minutes to get 500 points, and factoring in time for me to learn the minigame and become efficient and not die, I'd estimate this at roughly 30 hours, but it's hard to say. I could go dry, or I could get it on the first gamble. Option 2 is killing Corp. Ah, I can't have any food. Eh, that makes sense. No runes either. I got these from a maze random, along with this defense potion but I guess I can drop the runes. Ah, my steel arrows. Maybe I'll... Nah, I'm fine with dropping these two. Actually, while I'm at it, I... Okay, we need to come up with a strategy here. There are four roles in Barbarian Assault, each with their own function and challenges. Attacker attacks, defender traps, healer heals, and collector. As for my role of choice, well... Let's take attacker out of there. Let's take Collector out of there as well. I don't really want to feel like a leech after every single run. That leaves Healer and Defender, and while I'm happy to play either, I'd feel a little bit safer being able to heal myself. That, and I really don't want another player to have to run over and heal me every 30 seconds. Alright, and we have our first team. The first thing I learned while playing Healer is that my job isn't actually healing. It's actually poisoning. I have to poison the Penance Healers with all this delicious looking food. And oh my god, those eggs are all worth 60 mil. The second thing I learned is sometimes your teammates just leave. Poison you and you. And there's another one over here. Oh, I completely forgot about that part. 
Before I do any gambles, I'm going to go for level 5 healer. It increases the amount that I heal, but more importantly, it lets me advertise myself in the lobby as a level 5 healer, so I get into groups a whole lot faster. Uh, yeah, I kind of got stacked from full. I might need higher stats for this. All right, we're trying again with two healers, and I'm just going to sit here and slurp from the pool. I earned that victory. And that's level three healer. Oh, what is happening? Why, why, why did he bring them all to the pool? Okay, same plan as last time. I'm just going to sit here and heal everyone while the other healer does the eggs. No, come back! No, come back! Nice. A total of four queens killed. We are level five healer and finally have enough points for the first high gamble. Could you imagine if we get it on the first one? All right, let's spend the healer points. He's got his hand on something. It's rune arrows. That's not bad. What do these sell for? High value of 240 each. Um, and of course we can't do the clue. One day though. I think selling five per world should be good. Look at this, a 71K cash stack, that's insane. Oh, come on, they're swapping in a second healer. I got this. All right, that's fair. Okay, I like the strategizing going on here. Gamble number two, unicorn horns. Uh, yeah, that's bad. Ooh, pinball. I decided that I have enough gold. I'm gonna splurge for the rune longsword. It's a big upgrade over the Addy sword, especially for flinching, which I currently do a lot of. But I probably should have gotten the attack level first. 36 attack. These Birthorp citizens have some pretty neat drops, but man, are they slow XP. I'm definitely spoiled by the crabs. And that's 40. Man, what a massive upgrade. That was so fast. Well, relatively. I'm also gonna pick up the Addy Med Helm and Chain Body. I should be able to solo heal the Queen Wave with this extra defense. This two Leprechaun is standing on the border to my area. My main is here with the Sextant Watch and Chart to double check the coordinates, but I'm able to note herbs on him if I stand one tile to the north. Another queen down? Uh, Law runes. Yeah, those just get sold. Uh, another queen? Magic logs. These aren't bad, but 80 fletching is a long ways away, and I need the inventory space. Gamble number five? Archer helm. This is a great helmet, but unfortunately I can't wear it until after the trials. 2141. What a great team. 4312. Well, at least I have enough for a gamble. More law runes. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, phew. Yes! We could finally make our attack potion! And that's four herblore. Now we're just looking for a strength pot from the Dr. Jekyll random, and I think we'll be able to complete the warrior's trial. Another one, nice. This is just herblor XP now, but it's so nice to see. 20 minute run, wow. And the reward? Black Dragonhide. Uh, there is no tannery in my area, so these do get dropped. If I die here, I won't lose my UIM status. He's not wrong. What the hell? One health, this guy's crazy. Dragon Bones. Oh, that's really good. Once I get into the wilderness, I'll actually be able to use these on the Chaos Altar for some big prayer XP. Don't worry, I saw somebody else do this. It's perfectly safe. Mahogany planks. I do need these eventually for the costume room. Uh, I'm gonna try to hang on to them for right now, but we'll see. Watermelon seeds, wow. Yeah, these are actually worthless. Oh, you know how much I love gambling. I gotta pick this mystery box. You can get clues from these? What? Nope. This healer won't die. See, this is the problem with two healers. We're at the queen, but we're still swarmed by these fighters and rangers. More dragon bones. Uh, this is honestly like the second best drop, so I'll take them. Just one egg, that's it? Okay then. Oh my god. <laughs> 17, 15. And for the loot, here's liar number 247. I think it's time to make a little bit of progress on the quest. So far, we've completed the Navigator's Trial and started the Bards. Next on the list, we have... 
Sigmund the Merchant's Trial requires us to get him a flower. That's it. That's all we have to do. We just have to do him one small favor. The sailor has the flower, but he won't give it to me unless someone writes him a song. Olaf the Bard can write the song, but his feet hurt and he wants new boots. Irsa has the boots, but wants her taxes lowered. Runt the Chieftain could lower taxes, but he wants Sigli the Huntsman to tell him the best hunting spots. Sigli wants a new bowstring. Skullgrimmin, the helmet store owner, man, that's a long title, can make him one, but he wants a fish. The fisherman wants a map of the best fishing spots. I kept telling him all the fishing spots are right here, but he insists that I go to Swenson, who needs to know the weather. Pier the Seer knows the weather, but wants a bodyguard, and Thorvald the warrior will do it. But only if I get him a seat in the long haul, which I feel like he should have one already because he's a member of the council. But uh, anyway, Manny the Reveler will give up his seat if I give him a drink, and Thor the barkeep will make him one if I get the damn kids off her lawn. And Ask Aladdin will leave for only two easy payments of $24.99. Wait, you're not in this quest. Get out. So I bribed the kid, gave the note to Thora, the drink to Manny, the seat to Thorvald, the bodyguard to Pier, the weather to Swenson, the map to Fisherman, the fish to Skolgrimman, the helmet store owner, the bowstring to Sigli, the monsters to Brunt, the taxes to Ursa, the boot to Olaf, the song to Sailor, the flower to Sigmund, and the vote to me. Easy. Who's next? Sigli the Huntsman's Trial is a quest to hunt down and defeat the Draugen, a ghost that, and I quote, devours the souls of brave warriors who meet their ends at sea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, it's taking me south. This thing must really be an evil spirit. Okay, it's north of here, so it should be safe. Across the river, oh, damn it. Ah, uh, stay still. Oh, it's here. Okay, I got it stuck. Let's sip a dose of attack potion and go for it. It's definitely a good thing the Fremnic Council isn't watching this fight. Draugen down. I feel like a true huntsman after that battle. Oh no, he saw the entire thing! <laughs> I've decided to sell off the Archer and the Farseer Helms. I'm going back into Barbarian Assault and inventory space is very valuable for poisoning the healers. And with the amount of GP I'm getting, after the quest I should have no problem buying back all the helmets I need from Skulgerman. The helmet store owner. This is Gamble number 16, coming back from a brief hiatus, and welcoming us back is a fine stack of Torstals, which are getting dropped. And we're back once again, this time with some more healer points. Come on, show me the sharks. That's a granite helmet. 